Hello and welcome to The Greatest Showcase, where we are going to celebrate the success of the media department at the University of Chester. I'm Edmund Prescott. And I'm Ellie Williams, and we're both students here on the Warrington campus doing broadcast production and presenting. Are you alright down there? I'm alright down here, how are you up there? Well, I can see everything. Anyhow, here is what is coming up on this evening's show. Music production. Media studies. Journalism. Photography. Radio. Advertising. And TV production. First up today we have Joel and Pete who have finished their final year at the University of Chester with a degree in sports journalism. Hello, welcome to the show. How are you doing? It's been an all right day, hasn't it? A bit of sunshine. So, um, why have you chosen sports journalism as a subject here at the University of Chester? Um, I, I've always liked, you know, sports, and I've always liked the academic side, so mixing them two together seemed like the perfect, perfect world to me. Her students across all the modules come together to work on various projects. The students who spend the most time in the hub of the media department are our TV production students. So we went to speak to one to see what they think about the course. Uh, my favourite part about television production is actually getting stuck in on like filming shoots or in TV studio for instance because in TV studio there's so many different roles to look at that you're always learning something new. Yep. My name is Michael Butler and I'm a second year student studying film studies and TV production at the University of Chester. I chose television production because it's quite a practical course. Well, when I first started I knew nothing about TV studio and I hadn't really done anything practical in the TV side and with me studying film studies for a lot of my time in education I wanted something more practical to start developing my skills. The biggest challenge of facing TV production is probably the academic side of it because you have to do essays in relation to your practical work which has proved to be a problem, but it's a problem I have overcome after trial and error. <laughs> one of the funniest moments was probably in TV studio, in one of the shows we did, Tom, one of the other students, booked out a microphone that we thought was going to be for the, the singing act we had on. No, it was for him to boss people around with during rehearsals and leading up to it. Yeah, I hope to go into the film and TV industry um, because it's such a broad industry and you don't have to focus on one specific thing. And the good thing about the course is you learn a variety of skills so you are able to develop in different parts of the industry. And that's what I hope to do when I hopefully graduate. 
TV production sounds like a fantastic course, and right now we have Win Wallow with a musical performance. Take it away. Oh, thank you very much. How long have you been playing music? Um, well, I've been doing musical stuff since I was about four, because I went to a gospel church from a very young age, so for about 18 years now. And how much do you enjoy it? A lot? I love music, yeah. So what course did you hear at the university? Well, I do commercial music production and I also do TV production. And how do you find those? Are they good? I find them very challenging, but I love a challenge and I'm very happy to say I'm very pleased with both my courses. And has being a musician helped you with your course? Um, was it just a hobby? <laughs> um, it was always just a hobby, but um, here it's all computer-based, like you learn on Logic, which is um, a programme, and it's completely different to playing on here, but as I said before, I love a challenge, and I think it's a brilliant course. So. And have you played in any gigs or concerts? Um, the last one I did was the Cat Radio Awards a couple oh, of weeks ago, you. and I played at Warrington Music Fest last year to um, a crowd of over 200, so that was a bit daunting. Oh, I can imagine that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was brilliant. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm sure we'll be hearing a bit more from you later. No problem. Thanks for inviting me. 
Music is also a large part of the radio department here at the University of Chester, so here is Max to tell us more. Uh, my favourite part about the course is just being in the studio, just being around the mics and being around the music, it just makes, it just gives me a feeling of just feeling like I belong in here and being with the music. So I'm Max, I'm a second year student studying radio production. I chose radio production just because it looked really interesting as a course. I had no intention uh, before coming here to do it. Uh, somebody suggested it to me because I just solely wanted to do music. When I went into the introduction um, lecture, uh, I just fell in love with it. My skills have developed definitely through um, like teamwork, I'd say. Uh, working with different people, presenting, because um, you probably think that having multiple different presenters and just changing between the people, it would remain the same. Everybody works differently uh, on radio, so you have to have a few sort of shows together before you start understanding each other's rhythm, start understanding how you work together. Funniest moments is probably I found a fish and chip bar that um, used like a Febreze bottle to spray on vinegar and uh, my co-presenter Tom was absolutely furious about it. He was like, you shouldn't be using spray on vinegar and he just got really wound up on air. I tend to just walk out the studio trying to be funny and stuff like that and this was actually the first time in almost two years that I actually made him leave the studio because he was so annoyed. So he got up and he walked out and I had a little celebration on air like, yes, I finally made him leave after two years of trying, he's left. One of the biggest challenges that I've faced, I think especially this year, has been um, learning the difference between being a producer on radio versus being a presenter on radio. Because um, a presenter, you're obviously talking on the mic a lot. Producer, you tend not to talk on the mic at all. And for me, because I like talking a lot, it's very difficult for me to stop talking. So trying to find a, a cut-off point of when I'm like, stop, I need to stop. We were doing one-hour shows every week or um, every other week. And um, we were putting in like two weeks worth of preparation into a show that only lasted an hour. Presenting on Marland and Rushton has been a lot of fun with my, uh, my co-presenter Tom Marlon just because um, it's just what we love doing, it's just a lot of fun. So anything like that I like to take forward uh, into a real job. Um, yeah. The CAT radio is currently being broadcast, so when the audience leave they can see Max or Yasmin in action. Going to the opposite side of the media spectrum is photography. Recently, the photography department had an exhibition in the Northwest Media Centre called Seven Degrees of Separation. And here with me, I have Megan Tidbury, a third year photography student who has brought some of her work to here today. Hello, Megan. Welcome Hello. to the show. Thank you for having me. Now, why, why did you choose photography as a subject? Well, I do the BA Media course and photography was one of the modules and I've done photography for a long time now. Um, and it just seemed something to go into and continue that's throughout my time here. That's fantastic. And as I can see from you know your work, it's it's quite, uh, if I may say so, advanced. And uh, this picture over here of the derelict building, yeah. uh, that is, I must say, it's one of my favourites. <laughs> uh, what sort of um, compelled you to take this uh, picture? Well, I took that um, as part of my placement last year. Um, we went into Stockport and we were told to do, we had a five um, image challenge and we had to basically take five shots in a row without deleting any pictures. And it was looking at things like lines um, and things that interested me and derelict buildings have always sort of been something that is quite interesting for me. That's fantastic. And, and, and may I ask, where, where is this building situated? It's in like, it's like down an alley in Stockport, right. in Manchester. Yeah. You, you wouldn't think that, would you? You'd think it'd be somewhere in Harrogate or maybe Sheffield in the Bandon <laughs> Mill. Uh, yeah. What was I going to say? But I must say it's one of my favourite. And then I would probably say my second favourite picture, which is quite eerie, is, is this picture here with this, this senior gentleman sat on a bench. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was, um, again, that was another placement one, um, and we were just at um, this park in Greater Manchester, 
and you know he sort of blended in with the background and I really liked that it was you know you couldn't really tell that there was a man sitting there until you really looked closely enough yes it's and and the hat the hat is quite American it looks somewhere in America and you know you you really wouldn't think it was you know taken there no. and then also it looks quite quite like um, you know you, you you sort of are interested in sports uh, here because yeah. there's quite a few pictures do tell me about uh, what was going to say this this darkened one down here uh, so that was um, I went to I had the opportunity to go to um, the Warrington Wolves games um, and photograph them during their games and it was an amazing opportunity and I got it through the university um, and you know being able to be with all the professional photographers was something that I probably wouldn't have had the chance to do had I not been at university. So would you say that that experience has enhanced your sort of professional sort of skills? Yeah, it's given me an op like the opportunity to work in a professional environment and see how manic it can be and it's you know, helping me for the future now. Well, you're evidently, uh, what was I going to say, doing very well. And uh, what was I going to say, if you ever decide to sell some, I will buy one because <laughs> I think that they're absolutely fantastic. What was I going to say? Well, thanks for joining me, Thank Megan, today. Me. And uh, it, it's been a great privilege to see your work. Photography is not the only course here at the Warrington campus, which involves using fantastic images. Advertising also allows students here to use and develop their photography skills. So we went to see Rachel to see what she likes about advertising. I think people should do advertising because it's kind of like a great way to express yourself and it's just so creative. So like you start off with just a company coming to you and saying we need help and then by the end of it, you've managed to come up with some ideas that they can use actually in the real world, which I think is pretty cool. My name's Rachel Martin and I'm a second year student um, at University of Chester doing advertising. I did a bit of advertising in college because I did graphics, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do and they actually offered me a combined course in TV production and advertising, so I thought that was quite interesting. My biggest challenge was probably trying to learn the software. When I first came, like quite a few of the students had already used loads of the software, so I started from the very beginning, um, but I can actually use the software perfectly fine now and I absolutely love it. The software changes all the time, so even when I had my six weeks break for the summer, you kind of forget it all and you have to kind of relearn it. This one I am worried about. The funniest moment in advertising was probably when I was trying to photograph Aramis in the photo uh, shoot. Um, he just kept laughing. It took me about three hours to edit all his hair out, out of his glasses, but it's what you have to do. <laughs> After I finished uni, I think I might actually want to go into advertising and um, become like a project leader, so not actually creating the advertisements. Um, I'd be in charge of other people and I'd come up with all the ideas, but then you kind of hire other people to create the ideas. <laughs> you can do absolutely anything you like. Yeah, you get briefs, but you can push them a little bit. You can go to a client and they'll be like, oh, we don't like that, but you're like, yeah, but what about this? <laughs> so you can, you can push it a little and you can do whatever you want and you do like learn loads of skills that are going to be like so useful in the future. Lectures are quite good. You like have to work in groups so you get to know everyone and it's just a good place to find friends, really. Well, it's coming up to the end of our show. But before we leave, we are going to be talking to Hannah Amelia, who does BA Media. The course covers a wide range of the departments here at the University of Chester, and we're going to be learning a little bit more about that now. Hi, Hannah, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? So, what modules do you cover in media studies? Well, when you first come here, you get to pick, like, everything you want to do. So I picked TV, journalism, advertising, photography and radio. And then throughout the three years, you decide what like, your strengths and your weaknesses are. So when I got to my final year, I just stuck to advertising and radio. But and the course lets you do everything. And how have you found them? Are they any good? They've all been good. They start off so like you could go in with no knowledge at all. And then by the end of it, you'll know all the basics. Even if you decide not to carry it on, you'll still know how to do it all by the end of it. So it's a course that's very like optional, like no one does the same really? No, like um, there's five of us that do BA Media and none of us are in the same classes. It's rare if we actually see each other yeah. and we all do the same course. So do you think it's better to work on a wide range of modules than just one? I think it makes you more attractive to an employer because I have so many more skills now. So say if like someone wanted 
something to do with journalism. I could offer like photography as well as that and advertising rather than just having that one set skill. Yeah, I can imagine that's quite good with getting jobs and stuff. Yeah. So, do you know which field of media do you want to go into after this? Um, well, I've managed to get a job with a DJ company creating yeah. all their like advertising and photography. So, thankfully, with the course, doing everything I've done, they want that. So yeah. I don't think I would have known what I wanted to do if I did a specific course. Yeah, so, so I can imagine helped. you're quite excited for that. Yeah, it would be good. Right, OK, well, thank you for joining us. Thank That's you all we for have having me. For. Guess what? What? I've met someone famous. Have you? Oh, yes, they were gorgeous. On this campus? Yes, but then I realised it was a mirror. Oh, <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> Sadly, we have run out of time. We have had a fantastic time presenting the show and we hope we gave you an insight to the University of Chester at Warrington campus. And don't forget, if you are interested in doing a degree in media at the University of Chester, then please come to one of our open days on either the 14th of June or the 20th of October. You can find all of the details on the official University of Chester website. Thank you for being a great audience and we hope we have had a good time this evening. And now we're going to leave you with our final performance from the great Wim Warlow. Take it away, Wim. First it was alright. I used to get chills on my spine when you call my name. But now we do not feel. Now we play the blame game Kicking it for fun Boy, you used to brighten my day Boy, you were my son At first I was saddened Sleeping alone at night When I saw you standing there What did I see in you? You weren't all there And now I'm feeling okay Now I'm feeling okay Coming up I was sad.